In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the rule of thirds grid on your Canon camera's LCD screen. Three, two, one. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. You know the drill, stick around to the end of the video because I've got a bonus tip waiting for you there. Okay, so when you're framing your shots, one of the things that you can do to make them more interesting is to follow the rule of thirds. This means dividing your frame into three sections, both vertically and horizontally, and placing your subject at one of the intersection points or placing your horizon line either at the top third or the bottom third. And the easiest way to do this is with the help of a grid on your LCD screen. The good news is that Canon includes this rule of thirds grid on most of their camera models. So here is how you enable it. I'm on a Canon M50, but most Canon cameras have similar menus. Also, there might have been a firmware update since the making of this video, and things might have moved around a little bit. But for now, here's where you can find that grid setting. First, go to the yellow wrench menu. Then, go over to the fourth submenu. Then, select Shooting Info Disp for display, and scroll down to the grid display. Scroll down to 3x3, and lastly, hit Menu again. And that's it! Now you have a nice little grid on your display to help you frame your shots. Done and done. All right, let's do that quick tip. When you're just starting out, you don't always remember to follow the rule of thirds. In fact, most of the time, you're more worried about getting the exposure right, or choosing the right frame rate, or getting your actors to read the lines, or getting your actors to show up or a million other things. But if you leave that grid on your display, it will serve as a constant reminder for you to follow the rule of thirds, even when you're not thinking about it. So now that you know how to turn it on, leave it on, and let it be your little reminder to always frame your shots like a pro. And for more tips on making your shots more interesting, check out my other video, How to Frame Your Shots. I'll leave a link in the description. And as always, if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted. And I will catch you next time.